plaintiff, Maurice Green, dated the defendant's mother when they were teenagers. But 13 months after they separated, she gave birth to the defendant. Maurice claims the defendant's mother insisted he was the father, so he raised the defendant. But he has always had doubts and wants to know the truth. So he petitioned the court for a paternity test. Defendant Siobhan Green says she's 28 years old and has no idea what to believe about her father. Siobhan and her mother insist Maurice is lying about the situation. So she's eager to put the issue to rest today. All rise, this court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Sir, you've petitioned the court for a DNA test, and how old are you? 28. 28, and so 28 years later, we're trying to find conclusively the uh, paternity. And why is it 28 years later? Because there's always been some doubt if she was actually my biological daughter. <laughs> Why don't you tell me how has the relationship been throughout your life? Well, it's been good. Like he's been your up, father. He's been father. He's been a pretty good father. Financially, up, emotionally, kids. attached and bonded. Yeah, definitely. I'm pretty sure he's my father, so I'm not. I'm confused. Like I'm lost for words. I know. I don't really know where to start. Does anyone explain to you why he might want to know? He has mentioned a couple things, but it really doesn't make sense to me at all. When was the first time those things were mentioned? I was in high school okay. then, about 14, 15, I'm not sure the age when it was brought up to me then. Okay. Yeah. Sir, you ready to give me a little more yes. testimony? Uh, Go ahead. I met her mother when I was in high school. We fell in love. We became high school sweethearts. I graduated and moved to Jefferson City from St. Louis. Uh, we had one child while I was in college. And so I decided to step up and I moved the mother and my first child up to Jefferson City. During that time, uh, we had a, a great relationship until the summer of 88. Summer 88, we had a falling out. And so the mother and I separated and she moved back to St. Louis. I stayed in Jefferson City. The following year, which was 89, I was informed that the mother was pregnant. What month in 89? In the beginning of uh, 89, somewhere the early months. Okay. Uh, All right. I had no means to get back and forth to St. Louis, but I came up in a time that where if you were said to be the father, you're the baby, you took that mantle. And so that's what I did. But she wasn't born till 13 months after we separated. And that left room for me to doubt because we weren't exclusive mm -hmm. at all at the, during that point. Regardless of that, I raised my daughter. I paid child support for my daughter. We had a fabulous relationship. I had evidence, pictures of, she's always been my special baby. And did you, and, uh, did you and, make any mention of, <coughs> what was the discussion between you and her mother? After my daughter, I'd have never told my daughter. After my daughter graduated, her mother went to her. And to, I went to the mother and said, now that she's old enough, she's out of school, you can tell me. And to this date, she's still never giving me a, a definitive, flat out yes or no. She'll say something like, what do you think? What you think? Is she yours? And then she had the nerve to tell my baby what, what was talked about between us. I'd have never told my daughter. Nothing like that. And so my daughter called me one day and said, mom said that you think you may not be the daddy. My daddy, which floored me because I'd have never told my baby nothing like that. And then I got up where we weren't residing together, so I got up and left my home immediately and went to my daughter and talked to her in person about something like this. And I explained that the, the math 13 months, and that's a possibility, but I never treated my daughter less than that. She still is my daughter. That is my daughter, regardless of the case. <laughs> and I just think it's right that we both, we both, Find the truth. The person we need here most is your mother, but nonetheless, she's not here. And so, did you discuss this with her? That 13 month 
yes. spread yes. in the beginning? No. You didn't have the... I, I, I was in love with her, Judge. Right. It didn't matter. Yeah. Um, she had my first child. She said she was pregnant. That's my second baby. She gave that her the benefit of the doubt, you thought, and maybe... I was willing to live with it because that was my baby. I never told her. Her mama told her. She has a totally different story. Speaking to her, she tells me what he's saying is a lie. It's all bull. She's How never cheated. How did you come cheated. to find out anything about these type of conversations? I don't recall having a conversation with my mom about it. I remember the conversation between us. He, I remember him bringing it up to me first. Like when I was in high school, she's saying that it's all a lie, it's bull. That's why she didn't come on the show. So he was the first one to bring it up? Yes. That's, that's, as you recall. That's what I remember. And I also have a recording from my mom stating some oh, of that, if you'd like to play the recording. All right, see if they'll play the okay. recording. Got that? He says, it's all you. He said, he, you never confirmed that I was he is, and he was in Jefferson City when this, this, and that went all the time, and probably didn't add up and crap like that. Oh, Lord. Okay, well, at the end of the day, when he said he was in Jefferson, I wasn't with him. Right. Uh, okay, well, ah! at the end of the day, when he get through, I, I wasn't cheating on him. I don't know. Cause, and then he said, I told him that you told me that he was lying. I don't remember that. It could be a lie. I never told you that. So it's just all Yes, that's why I didn't go, I didn't go on. That's why you didn't go on the show, because it's all bullcrap. Yeah. You feel like he's just making everything up. And then, you had to study somebody you enjoy. You really, really, you do this when you're young. She makes a point about waiting to 30 years old, sir. Yeah. You may have told me already, but re refresh my memory as to why you waited so long. Because I'd have never told my daughter that my daughter knows it. Throughout the family, it's wait? like a, it's like an elephant in the room. Why did I'm you actually wait? afraid to know if she is, if she's not. Why did you wait? Till she was old enough to handle it. And that was high school. That's what high school. Oh. Right. I wouldn't. I, her mother told her in, mm -hmm. after how she graduated. I went to confront the mother after she graduated high okay. school. So she is now nearly thirty. What happened between the high school years when you inquired and now? The elephant in the room without the family. Uh, so it never left. It never it left. It never left your mind. Never. And so. But how to come about it? What was I going to take a hair sample, swab it when she was small? I mean, while she sleep? I came up with all types of crazy ways. And then when I finally talked to her about coming on the show, my daughter's always been a beautiful, smart, intelligent. I, I'm proud of my daughter. And we sat. And we talked, and she was willing. If I am not her father, she would like to know why. But I've always been afraid. I don't want to know the truth if she's not, but I, I have to know. And I don't like, quite frankly, young lady, the way your mother handled this either. Yeah. I don't I'm like not, the way either I'm one of them. I'm not coming because it's a bunch of crap. Well, clear that crap up by yeah. coming. I'll be honest, young lady, she sounded so iffy. Yeah. She I don't like the way she... neither one of them's handling it, because it's yeah. like... But the good news is they both did a good job with you, and yeah. that's the most important thing. You have had a father, and he is likely your blood father, um, but... It's not a doubt for me. Yeah, oh. but if not, then he certainly is... A father. He yeah. is your father under any circumstance. Because uh, he's the only not... father I know. Mm -hmm. So he's your father. And uh, he just wants to know um, genetically whether that's the case. Yes, sir. Uh, otherwise, there's uh, not going to be any difference either no. if it's different, right? We just want to know. Yeah. And wish your mother was here to shed a little more light on this. Um, but nonetheless, we'll just have to uh, take a look at the uh, paternity results. And how would you feel if he came back and he wasn't? I don't know. I would just finally be, I'd be distraught, obviously. That's the hard part. I don't want my baby hurt. I don't want her at all.
And your mother, obviously, she didn't think it was a chance. Otherwise, she would have well, probably exactly. been here That's to support you. Yes. I would hope. Yes. I would hope she wouldn't avoid supporting you to save herself a little embarrassment. I hope that. So, I believe he's your dad. I don't believe your mother would be like that. Yeah, I so, don't I think you got a good mother and a good father. I guess I'm a little nervous. I folded it back up and stuck it back in. That type of stuff is tough on me. She said she would be distraught. She's not mama. You're not the father. Oh, regardless of that, regardless of that body, regardless of that baby, that don't even matter. But we know the truth. It goes to show you, I don't have to be your biological to be your daddy, baby. And it don't matter, but I didn't, I was afraid of this. That's why I kept it from her. Cause I knew it was a possibility. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm still gonna get my grandkids on Sunday, go to church. Ain't nothing gonna change, but we know the time. Ain't nothing gonna change. Ain't nothing gonna change it. Ain't nothing gonna change it. I dressed them like twins, cause they were always mine. You were always mine. You're her father, but not by blood, so. And young lady, you see how you're feeling about it over the next week or two. And um, we offer um, relationship uh, counseling. And uh, I'm going to have my staff give you all the information you would need should you seek out counseling. If you want your dad to go with you or your mom to go with you or you want to go alone. This is very traumatic. I know it is, because you see how long it took for me to even deliver the news. It's probably one of the toughest things I've done in the 20 years. Uh, one of the toughest cases. All right, God bless you. You are doing I'm sorry that this is the result. All I say to parents, be truthful to, the, to, your, to your children. And don't say anything that's hurtful to your children. Just be oh honest. My God. And men, you don't have to be a biological to be a father to your children mm -hmm. and the children you're around. She's still our daughter. Mm -hmm. It all boils down regardless. We love her. I've been with this girl for 10 years. And I love her. And I've been with her for 28. I never love you different. Yep. We still one family. <laughs>